Hey you folks, Quilly Dean here, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play U4 Super Ulm. Lithuania cancelled access, that's fine. We'll get a few of these little messages here because it is a freshly loaded session. The AI loves to reorganize their diplomacy when that happens. Um, things are remarkably stable. I actually loaded this up. I thought I was still like overextended from taking all this territory, but apparently not. We are working to annex Tuscany, which is good. Our manpower is only about a third of our cap, and not that high, so we don't have to rush into another war. Um, if I do go into more wars, I would very much like to keep taking bites out of Austria. We'll see how it goes. We might open up something here or there. Um, excuse me, how's my coalition set up right now? It's fine, to the point where it's tempting to actually maybe go and trigger the coalition. Not that I have a CB on anyone. We should do something. Let's, um... Let's fabricate a claim on... Oh, Lombardy is our capital. On Milan over here. They've got all that Lombard culture, which I have a good amount of anyway, so they're going to be... I mean, they're already accepted. It's only going to be more so once we eat Tuscany. Let's go, yeah, get a little fabrication going on. Wow, we got instantly discovered. Instantly. All right. Fine. How's uh, Savoy looking? I do have a truce. No truce here. Oh, they're currently at war. Well, there's a few wars going on. How about Augsburg? You're in the coalition, but I don't have a CB. All right. You know, getting caught with these claims does increase my um, aggressive expansion. But at this point, I'm not as terribly concerned anymore. So let's get a few of those up. Uh, Oldenburg wants an alliance. You're Protestant. All right. We're currently at our limit. One of them is going to go away as soon as we swallow up Tuscany. You know what? I'm going to take it. What are you? Archbishopric, so we can't actually marry you. All of our diplomats are... Totally improperly busy. Right, we're fabricating the claims and everything. Um, sure, you can have that. Rebel Uprising, 6.5 years, so that's going to be okay. So, what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and increase my um, my stability to plus one. We do have the ahead of time going on right now with the administrative technology, so it's not like we're pressured to do anything there. The extra stability will help with the rebellion, give us a little bit more taxes, and I'm okay. Lorraine just left the coalition against me. Really? Really, Lorraine? I mean, kind of offended, to be honest. Oh, it's over here! Oh, look at these colors! Oh, that's Lorraine, that's Lorraine. This is Bar. Bar, 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 bar. Um, we don't have a truce. I probably don't have a CB against you. It's worth considering that. No, I don't want to become Defender of the Faith. That is perfectly okay. Yeah, another war to split up the coalition, to reset some truce timers while they're small, is not going to be a bad thing. Especially since we're not currently uh, overextended or anything of the sort. We are totally okay. Are those innovative ideas? I still think, you know, humanism. But, you know, we've got... We always go humanism, so I'm okay with taking innovative for a difference. One day, maybe we'll take economic ideas. Does lower interest rates, but, you know, loans... You don't you want to count on taking loans or anything silly like that. How are we regarding to our force limit? We're not quite there. Uh, if I recall correctly from here, though, we do not have any mercenaries, so that's good. Um, let's just go ahead and get some more infantry. That's going to be fine. Three, four, and five. There we are. Excellent. We got our CB. Do I want to trigger now? Well, we'll have to bring up our maintenance, of course. So let's do that first. Things are being taken by other people. Yeah, Cremona. So what's this war? Austrian War of the Protestant League. Oh, I never did join that, did I? Um, people said I have to do something here. I guess it's too late. The religious wars went. I would have loved to have joined it, though. Shit. Trade depots are finishing. Hmm. I can't, I can't get you to stop your war. I can't enforce peace because I have a truce. Yeah, I'm not going to be part of the freaking war. I didn't join the, uh, the league in time. Ah! Well, that's annoying. So I don't think it makes sense to trigger this war right now. This coalition. Um, just because what am I going to take? I guess I could take Augsburg. Allied with France. And France would jump in. Well, that's no good. Uh, Milan. 
That's manageable. Yeah, we're gonna have to wait. Oh, Oldenburg. Since, um, let's go ahead and improve relations. Make sure our alliance stays. Alsace hates me. Yeah, I don't know. I guess we don't have to rush into anything right now. Look at these. Papal peasants. Alright. Yeah, we'll wait to see what happens over here. These guys will peace out at some point. I don't know what it's going to do to the religious landscape after it's done. Yeah, I mean, I guess I don't have to rush. We got the manpower. Alright, let's bring down my maintenance again. Again, until almost, but not quite gone. 45 per month is really good. Completed more of those buildings. Plenty of cash in the bank. Uh, we probably could build some more buildings. Oh, interesting. Since I'm not worried about spending the power points right now. Um, I think all the good armories are down there. Yeah, that's not enough. Training fields. 27, 27... I guess the 23s are okay. Again, we may not want to overspend. If a big war does come out, we do want to be able to spend money on mercs since we don't have a deep manpower pool. <clears throat> that is so annoying. And attrition everything. Oh, my leader died! Even after I re-elected him. Well, since we are... Oh, yeah, we're going to be taking military ideas. So I'm going to go ahead and take a military candidate. So we can try to burn through those points as much as possible and get the technology. Some truces with Castile have just ended. I don't think there's any declaration I specifically want to do there. Oh! These used to all be Aragonese. Now they're all independent. How interesting is that? Brandenburg, re-royal marriage. Yes. Tuscany, re-royal marriage. Yes, please. France. Oh, we still have that one. Okay. We still have most of them, so that's fine. There might be some here or there that we want to fill in. We are almost done annexing... Oh, I shouldn't have maybe gone to my manpower cap, because I'm willing to bet I'm going to be over at this point. We'll see how it goes. Also, my fleet is not currently assigned. Boom, integration is a slow process. Minus three diplo rep, plus five prestige. And we completed the quest for more prestige and some admin power. Awesome. We are not overextended. We do have some conversions we can do. <clears throat> because Tuscany was Catholic, so some of the bits were still Catholic. Pick a new mission. Protect against the Ottomans. 81 strength might be a little too hard. Make friends with the Mamluks. I don't know. Protect our brethren in Berg. Let's take that. This will give me a CB against Utrecht. We'll keep that in our back pocket. How are we doing force limit-wise? Yeah, we are over. Um... Get rid of those infantry. We just built some. So I really didn't need to do that. So that was actually a big loss of uh, manpower if I hadn't increased my limit. Oops, I think I missed a message there about the religion stuff. Is that war over? Oh, it is over! Good time for me to attack. Shoot. Too bad I missed that message. I'm sorry, guys. Um, I don't... I could keep the transports around. For a possible invasion of something like Corsica or something. But I think I've got enough on the mainland. I'm going to get rid of... Cancel. I'm going to get rid of the transports. I'll keep the heavy around. Oh, these are galleys. You know what? That's all right. Let's, let's move you to over here. Because we might use you to do some things in the Venetian trade node. That'll be okay. All right. So, if we were to declare war on Milan now... Only Corsica would jump in. Oh, shoot. Maybe I do want those transports. Who are you allied with, Corsica? Milan and the Papal States. You know what? I'm going to I'm gonna co-belligerize them so I can full annex these guys. We'll have to build some transport ships. Uh, I'm not... I'm at maintenance. Hold on. Start the maintenance. Also, I'm going to create a template of... Five transports. So yeah, I, I toss those, which is really stupid. But wow, it's not stupid. It's just it made sense at the time. Now it no longer does. Um, we're gonna wait until we get a couple of reinforcement ticks. I would like to declare war. Ugh, random minus one stability. Oh, then neither Protestant nor Catholics. We will say Protestant neighbors reach out again. Hopefully, it will work out diplomatically. Oh, they were still building some ships. Any of the others building ships? No. All right. Fine enough. So we'll have six ships to take on Corsica. Hmm. With three troops over there, maybe we'll want more than that. Let me bring my entire fleet home. Get them organized all in the same province. 
I know, six dudes should be pretty good. Um, I'm going to go with... There we go. That's going to be my six-man army, like so. And that's a decent leader with the high maneuver, I think. I don't know if you always get the amphibious thing. I know with the high leadership, we won't get the straight crossing. I don't know about an amphibious landing, though. We'll see how it goes. Heck, they might even move their ships off, which would be very interesting. Okay, I'll actually move these guys to Pisa, so I can move this fleet into the Ligurian Sea. Alright, that'll bring the Papal States, which I'm okay with, although I should really start that one moving over there. Let's spend a couple of days here first. <sighs> Reform neighbors reject us. Alright, take Cremona. Corsica over here. France will come in, but yeah. Okay, good. You go there, you go there. You actually come down here. We're going to make sure we've got a decent-sized army to take on the Papal States. We don't need our ships yet. Well, we'll organize our, our launch party soon. Our naval invasion party, I mean. Um, yeah, let's group these together. Oh, the Papal States did not join in? I did Cobaligerize Corsica. Oh, they did not. Wow. Okay. Hang out in Parma, then. We got a fleet coming around. We'll go and sink these guys and then ferry some troops across. Oh, there they come. All right. Excellent. Let's try to get some reinforcements nearby. They are force marching. Oh, they're going to jump on me over there. I'm going to start with that. Encourage them to finish their move. And bring them down to a speed of two. Just bring us up to the tenth. Oh, you stopped completely. Okay. So, yeah, that's all right. We'll just smash that. There's no way you get out of there in time, buddy. GG, Papal States. Oh, Royal Marriage of Saxony just ended. Let's keep that up. Need some friends. Oh, it was in the HRE that we joined the side. That's where it was. Cannot join while there's League Roar joining. Okay, so we joined it too late, but that's where it is. It's not on a religious screen. I never bring this up. So we'll have to enter the Protestant League after the War League, the, the war ends. Hopefully, there'll be more than one. Where are you going? Are you going to run down here? Is that your plan? That is your plan. All right, well, let's wipe that army. You don't want them to get too many troops. It's going to be challenging. The Highlands are going to be defensive enough. I think you get a minus one. Plus the naval landing. We actually might get repulsed the first time or two. Oh, France is going to go and smash those. Nope, they changed their mind. <laughs> oh, I'm going to leave some people behind here to start the siege. Oh, uh, France is going to want the uh, the Papal State Territory again. I went up to four. Hey, Sardinia. How are you, dude? Ask for military access. Excellent. We should make friends with you. You are Sunni. Wait, what is Corsica? Sardinia. Maybe you want to become uh, diplovassalized. Have you considered that? There are numerous advantages. Like, I won't go and conquer you. But that means I can ferry a bunch of people over and have massive numbers because I can make a few little trips. Um, where's the rest of my transports? So I can ferry them over to Sardinia. And I have control over the straight crossing, so we'll be totally good. <laughs> a few more ships still waiting. Frankfurt left the coalition. It's funny that they keep leaving that. Almost there. Of course, we're going to be coring a few things here, but not that many. Let's detach there. Make sure we've got some siege presence in place. Detach a blockade. Protect the rest of my transports over here. There we go. Just 
Just the two? I guess it doesn't matter how many ships I've got. Bring however many you can across and we'll make a few more trips. I wonder if it'll automatically keep ferrying more and more groups or if it's just going to grab the three and then call that good enough. I actually don't know how the um, automated transport helper works. Oh, it is automatically breaking up. That's really interesting. Hey, what? Hang on a sec. More training fields is good. We're just going to go and group these up. There we go. Group everything up. Break off the transports. Now do that. Yes, assist. Okay. Um, let me split that. Just make sure I've got some people kicking around in Ancona. Now, if I don't give France some territory over here, they will be upset again. But I really don't want to grow France. It'd be really nice if we could get to the point where we vassalize these guys. Because that would be a hell of a slap in the face to the Catholics, wouldn't it? And yeah, these are still moving. Oh, excellent. Okay, so they're doing small chunks. Which is good. We want at least the 10, but honestly, more would be a lot better. Because, um, well, we've got the maneuver guy, right? They have a maneuver of one. Good. So as long as our, our actual leader over here makes it across. Let me tell you what, that little group can stop. This one can stop as well. Just move our um, our leader group. And that'll be more. That'll more than enough. <laughs> I mean, I'll outnumber them three to one, but I also won't get the uh, the crossing penalty. So good. Siege all that. Siege all that. We'll actually be able to hit hundred percent soon. So the papal state is not a co belligerent. So asking for stuff is a little bit more expensive, but not that expensive. There we go. Let's go and kill these guys. Technology time. Nope, not yet. Just going to wait a tick longer. Grab this. Grab quantity ideas. Well, we want to level up our military tech as well. But we'll have plenty of points to grab the military level up and start on our quantity ideas at the same time. We'll be able to get those first two levels very fast. And the first two levels are the key. Listen, um... Can't Royal marry you? No. They're going to be a little bit concerned soon. But let's, um... Improve relations over here. Okay, Battle of Corsica is done. If I just detach these now and tell you to protect trade in Venice. Uh, oh, never mind then. I forgot we've got all this coast over here. Actually, leave some here. Detach. No. I gotta have 100% of my ships here to be able to fully siege Napoli? Alright. Fair enough. And the same thing here. Okay. Poor Milan. They're not even coastal anymore. I think they could technically keep their fleet, but they'd have a zero force limit, which is kind of interesting. I don't think I've ever seen that before. They've got a fort level of three over here, which is pretty beefy. And I don't have any siege bonus on my leader. I don't have that much artillery either. So Siege of Corsica is going to take a while. Let's go ahead and um, ferry some more cannons over there. How many cannons we got now? Five. Okay, so that'll bring us up to, that's a group of four, so nine. Which will get us to plus three. Good. That'll speed things up pretty dramatically. Da, 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 da. We don't even have our war goal yet. Our war goal is here. I don't know why it's like so much lower than Lombardia. It always seems to be that way. For some reason, the war goal just takes longer. Even though I got there like immediately. They might have higher defensiveness. We might be ticking a little bit slower. There could be all kinds of different things. Um, excellent. All done these. So, we don't need to siege anything else over there. Let's just group up. Political chaos. Gain two unrest in Ulm. Or pay money, gain stability. Let's pay money to gain stability. Okay, Protestant. Excellent. Very good. Group you up. We're going to take our lights. And you can go and patrol the Venetian trade node now. That's going to be plenty good. And over here... Oh! Oh, because of the attrition. Got to reinforce those cannons. Get the numbers all the way up. Uh, we're going to grab you and you and put you in Florence over there. There we go. Full bonus. I'm not going to rush. I'm not going to attack. Okay. Just let everything siege out. And I think I'm going to full annex Corsica and full annex uh, all of Milan. In fact, I might separate piece out the uh, the Papal States. Which will be upset France. 
But at some point, they've got to deal with the fact that we're not going to be any friends. I mean, they're Catholics. Can't get along with Catholics, can we? No. <laughs> One of these days. The, the alternative is I could have gotten here first and just, like, sieged it out. And even though they still had a claim in a court... Wow, that's a lot of attrition there, friends. Um, a claim over here, they wouldn't be pissed off because they wouldn't have been occupying it. So I don't think it would have affected it. It's if they occupy something they have a claim on and you don't give it to them in a peace deal, then they get kind of pissy. And, you know, I would be pissy in return. Mm, all right. Good stuff. Auto save, auto save. Oh, that means it's the start of New Year. Excellent. So let's go and do this. And that. Um, I'll still have Diplo points left over to negotiate. And that as well. Very good. New idea group. I want to grab quantity ideas. Boom. Then we're going to take this 50% increased national manpower. So we're going to go from 68,000 to... I guess we have to let it tick to the end of the month, probably to update. But it should be just over 100,000. And I'll also look forward very much to the Young Conserve. Um, which one is it? Ah, oh, there we go. New type of cavalry. Yeah, I think we have to wait till the end of the month. It recalculates it then. Which is, I guess, perfectly reasonable. Uh, another transport over there. Really don't need this many, and we are definitely over our force limit. But as the um, as the autonomy of these provinces goes down, we will get better and better and better. We can actually um, lower the autonomy in a lot of these provinces. Not all of them. Really not all of them. Ah, right over here would be a good one. Uh, sure, Liege, you can have access. That's fine. So is there a League War? There is. Okay. And will there be more than one? How does this work? I'm pissed that it couldn't join. Hmm. All right, good. That siege is going well. Depletion of the European beaver. Sounds dirty. France just sitting here just soaking in tons and tons of attrition, which makes me happy, actually. They're fine here. This siege is almost going to go. Um, we can probably separate piece out the um, the Papal State at this point. How much we got? 90% against them. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Well, in course to Aragon, no. Revoke cores, it doesn't really matter. Could release some stuff. I don't think that's particularly important in all these treaties. I don't care about that. Can't vassalize them or anything. Um, oh, we do have to finish this, right? I can't take Rome itself. I might be able to take everything else down here. Ignore this bit, obviously. If I take all this, maybe next time we do a war, we'll be able to um, vassalize them. The problem is Rome itself has such a huge tax base. It's very expensive to take. Also, right now, everything's twice as expensive because they're co-belligerent as opposed to my actual target. But even if it weren't the case, I wouldn't be able to full annex them or um, vassalize them right now. So we'll wait for Corsica first. I may have to leave some troops here to keep the rebellion risk a little bit low. Although, luckily, I can just bridge across from Sardinia, which is really nice. If we weren't in a war, we'd be okay. Oh, wait. I always got all excited because they're Sunni, and I'm Sunni. Because you know why? I just finished playing some of the Hypatia game. Um, <laughs> so I'm used to thinking of myself as Sunni. Wow! Yes, I'm Protestant. Sardinia is being friendly to me, which is kind of amazing. They might not be forever. I'm not sure. I don't think we'll actually be able to vassalize them. We can stay friendly with them for now, especially for the border crossing, but I guess we'll just have to eat them at some point. All right, fair enough, especially once we own Corsica. For now, we're going to wrap up this video. I guess we'll have to wait until next time to get our actual peace treaty going on. Um, just have to finish the siege of Abruzzi over here and Cremona and, of course, Corsica, and then we'll be good to go. Thanks for watching, folks. See you next time. Bye-bye.